All right, guys, this is going to be fun. Bernita's been living in Costa Rica for 12 years. Do you recognize her? She's made, other, she's made other videos. We're going to be talking to her about her life here, what she likes, what she dislikes, all of it in a minute. Guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency, so go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form, and you'll be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime. We're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please do. YouTube is hard these days. And if you want to see videos as we put them up, hit the notification bell. Do you recognize Bernita? Have you ever seen, you ever heard the, a name before? <laughs> She's a partner with Travel Costa Rica now. She it's sets me. up the packages. It's me. The last time I did an interview with you, I had hair. <laughs> yeah. Is that because of me? <laughs> Is this, what I've, done? Right is this what I've done to you? <laughs> this interview is going to be good. <laughs> well, that last video, I think, was, uh, oh, my gosh, nine oh. years ago or something? Crazy? Yeah, it's Eight? been a while. Long, long time. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to catch people up. So like I said, Bernita's been living in Costa Rica. She lives specific, uh, specifically in Manuel and Tony, which is on the Pacific side of Costa Rica. Uh, but let's just kind of update or outline. So what were you doing? Where, where did you live before you came here? Before I came to Costa Rica? Yeah. Philadelphia. Yep. I'm a Philly girl, born and raised. All right. Yep. Attitude is still here. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> so what was back then? So, I mean, you know, everyone's traveling around these days, digital nomad stuff and doing their thing. But back then, what was going on that you, how'd Costa Rica get on your map? It was only because I was a nanny and they brought me to Costa Rica on vacation for 10 days. And we actually stayed um, in Los, Los Sueños. Whoa. So we stayed there and they, they, their family had like a house. So we stayed Whoa. there. Anybody that doesn't know, <laughs> Los, uh, Los Sueños is very bougie, very <laughs> big, nice. very expensive. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here 10 days? And you 10 days. One day we came to Manuel Antonio. We stopped at El Avignon, the airplane restaurant. We yep. had a smoothie. Like I remember it was yesterday. And then when we left, I always thought about Costa Rica and I started planning. It took me two years. I researched Costa Rica for two years. Really? And then I quit my nanny job and I was raising three girls and a little baby boy. And one of my girls, the oldest girl, she's like, why did we ever take you to Costa Rica? Because I was like, I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go move to Costa Rica for three months. And I always say that I was meant to be here because right now I live at a, um, it's kind of like a mini boutique hotel, but it used to be another hotel across the street from us. But I lived right across the street down the road. And I felt like it was meant for me to be here because after me staying here for that three months when I was allowed to be here in Costa Rica for three months, I always just thought about it. And I made friends with the previous owner of this hotel and I contacted her and I'm like, I want to move to Costa Rica. How can I like do that? <laughs> how can I do? <laughs> I that? need to make money. I know. Well, back then I was also t I took TEFL, so I I was certified to teach English as a second language. Oh, that's that thing you have to do to teach Chinese. Yeah, kids you English. could do that, but I was like, I don't want to do that. I thought I wanted to do that, so I spoke to the owner of the hotel at that time. I'm like, do you know anybody that's you know that's looking? She's like, no, but I I need a I need a, an assistant. I'll pay you a stipend. I'll um, um I'll give you a place to live. I'll feed you. I'm like, well, this is perfect. So I just put my money away, saved my money there, whatever they paid me. Because I was a volunteering, basically I was a volunteer coordinator for an animal sanctuary. And um, so, yeah, I did that for two years. And then they were a little bit crazy. So I needed to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so I quit. And I moved down to the Osa for like two weeks to work for somebody else. I had a smaller little bed and breakfast too. And again, they were crazy, so I left, and I came back to Costa Rica. And then, when did I meet you? Because I met you when you were you were visiting yes, Manuel Antonio, I, right? And I was but like, I "Oh my God, I but found it was you guys!" And Nika, right? No, no, oh. not even. I followed you guys, but we were sitting at a large table. I just remember this. We were stuff. sitting at because we were at Barbara Roja, which is no longer here anymore, and it, it was like us, my friend Eugene, and like two of his guests. We all went out had like burgers yeah. and after that we went to some other place and like chill and did i don't even know how did i meet anika i don't even remember how i met anika but something happened 
<laughs> and you were saying that you needed somebody. And then my friend was like, you can do it. And I said it to you. And I could do and, it. And but no, because you were like, I don't know, because Anika, because I think it was just Anika at the time. It was. And you were like, I don't know if I want to hurt her feelings, like take stuff away from her. So you had to wait and talk to her. And she was like, yes. Yeah. I need help. We were getting busy. <laughs> well, let's go back for a second, though. So when you, what did you, I'm this, your family's in Philly, right? Yeah, everyone's did, in Philly. Did people go, what are you doing? Yeah. Or they were, they, were they like, that's just Bernita being Bernita? No. I don't even know where it came from. I was walking around in downtown Philly with my little chihuahua, and I'm like, doo, 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 and I'm like, I'm over it. I'm done. I don't know. And that's crazy. But when I came here for that vacation with the family, and then when I came here on my own, I lived here for three months, it just always stayed in my head. There's something about Costa Rica that just like Felt right. captures you, and you're like, what the hell? And then I come here, and I'm like, I don't want to go back to the U.S. When you first came here, were you, were you, did you know you were going to stay or were you still feeling it out? You know what I mean? Like, like I might go back to Philly. I might see y'all again right. uh, in six months or I might not. So where were you, where was your head? Where well, you I, I did go back after a year of living here just to see everybody. But then I came back. But then once I started staying in the year, she kept passing and passing. And I was like, oh, I think. And they keep passing <laughs> and passing. And I'm like, I think I live here now. So when I get on a plane, I'm like, I'm going home. So I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, anyone I think that does live here like you, there's something about the country that calls you. It's not perfect because the U.S. isn't perfect either. But Costa Rica is just, it did help me. I mean, again, like I'm born and raised in Philly. I'm always go, 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 go. It took me a while. But it took me two years. Because you're type A. <laughs> Aren't you type A? I don't know. I mean, you're, you're get you do things, you get things, you're going to, yeah. so to me, I mean, let's, let's go take it to me. Okay. Uh, I okay. think it does Costa Rica for me, since it is a more simpler life, it does kind of force you a little bit to slow your life down a little bit. So, which I kind of needed that right. in a sense. So uh -huh. for me, I like that kind of like, Michael, it's okay if that doesn't get done this second, right. you're going to be fine. But before, you know, you're, you're in bed going, I got to make these calls tomorrow. I got to do this thing. I well, that's still, things. that's always in my head. My mind yeah, does can. never shut <laughs> off. It's always going. I'm already thinking about what I have to do for tomorrow. Do you sleep good? For the most part, but I get up really, really early. Yeah, I do and too. I go to bed early. But <laughs> normally, yeah, I can sleep probably a full seven, eight hours. I sleep like shit, but I've always have. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I just, I, it doesn't even frustrate me. I've always right. been like that, but I get up at four, even when I go to bed early. Oh, but here it's awesome getting up early because it's so it is. You hear the birds, and I always see some crazy animal. So I'm like, I'm I'm cool getting up early. So so if you had to tell somebody like what now you're you're just saying, well, it it just feels right. You know, Costa Rica's called my name or whatever. But could you specifically say a few things that you kind of go, I really like this about Costa Rica. I really like that. Thing. Animals, the people, and the beach. I live in a beach town. Sometimes I forget. That is down there. When I'm on the bus and there's a certain point where it turns and you see and the whole, I'm like, oh my God, freaking this beautiful. Is where I live. <laughs> yeah. Again, if, for, you, for those of you who don't know, Manuel Antonio is arguably one of the top destinations for tourists to come down because it is a beautiful beach. It has a great park, yeah. lots of animals, great yeah. restaurants. The only thing I don't like, which I, I want you to talk to somebody about, I know you're is this it. just the road? You know, it's just the one road. I know. It's so busy. <laughs> I know. It's busy and it's getting busier because they're building more hotels, which we're all like, please, no more. We can't. We can't do any more people. We can't. We're going to run out of water. It's just, it's too much. They're not thinking. Fortuna is doing the same thing. Hako is doing the same thing. They're going, yeah, keep, let's just keep building. We're not going to do infrastructure. Nope. We'll worry about that later nope. when the house falls off the cliff because it's, Right. And you can't really make this main road any bigger. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and so they have actually, they do, we were talking about this yesterday. Sometimes they have problems here because since it is, so there's a little town, we'll say at the bottom of the mountain called Capos. And that actually is the area. Somebody decided, the bougie people said, let's go up on the mountain where it's going to be more expensive. We'll call that place <laughs> Man Juan Antonio. But there's only one road. And so we have a lot of, there's weather issues. Bernita, there's there's weather issues. issues. Roads have collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> Hills have <laughs> exactly, and even in Capos, Capos has flooded. Which, but the cool thing is, it'll flood down there, and like the next Maybe morning, they, they clean it up, and it's like it was never there. <laughs> so, would you ever see yourself leaving, Manuel? Tell me. 
Mm-hmm. I know you kind no, of got your life here. No, but... my life is here. I mean, I, my thing is, since I'm here in this beautiful country, I want to experience it. There's so many places to visit here. As small as it is, there's too much to see. But right now, Manuel Antonio, I, I, I love Manuel Antonio. If there was a little bit more, my favorite place, I think, is Osa. I like the Osa, but it's so remote. Yes, and that's the problem. I know people, you know how people go, I want to be off the grid. No, well, you no. will be off well, the grid. Well, I know, but they, they say that, but they don't really mean it. They want to be, I say this all the time, they want to be off the grid, but they want the freeway exit to be really close exactly. to them. Exactly. And they still want their stuff. So Osa is a little, unfortunately, a little too off the grid for me. I need, for what I do, I kind of have to be more easy you to get down the exactly. road. Exactly. But man, what a... I remember getting up, you're on the beach, the jungle, it's wild, everything. They're literally, I made a video there and I'm up at like five out in the jungle and I'm not, it looks like I'm high because I'm going, it's just, the macaws are going by, the monkeys are up here, but I'm talking like, it sounds like I'm high. People go, are you high? I go, no, that's how beautiful it is down there, but a little too down there. Because I lived in Puerto Jimenez for a week when I was trying to. Um, work for somebody and then he had another hotel in karate so karate is like the last town before you get to the national park mm-hmm. and he stayed out i stayed out there and i was like oh no 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 this is beautiful but i cannot live out there because it was way too remote my boss every day at 3 p.m he would turn off the internet and like everybody needs to talk to people i'm like dude no no <laughs> you can't do that is this where the crazy came yeah, in, that was where crazy <laughs> came in. <laughs> and then the one day though i took i had a day off and i went for a walk and i saw spider monkeys in the wild and i literally like the one tear was like coming down my eye because i'm like this is so cool because when i worked at an animal sanctuary we had two spider monkeys because they used to be pets but to see them in the wild doing their thing it was the most beautiful thing ever I agree with you. I totally agree. And uh, you know, the people shouldn't be underestimated. It really is true. When they say Costa Rica people are nice, it's a true statement. It is. It's not just a, I mean, I think what was it? The happiest, they were voted. It used to be the happiest country in the world. Now that's kind of bullshitty, but but still. We got bumped down. I think (laughs) Finland took over or something. I don't know. (laughs) But the people are nice. It is kind of nice to live in a country. Like I say this about Panama, and I think it's true. Panama is a great place to live if you want to pick that place as a, like a you know gringo or whatever. But they don't like you. They just they yeah. don't really care for you. They they just like you're not there, right? And they got like a contentment a little bit for, <laughs> for you. But here, they will stop if your car breaks down on the road. They, they will stop for sure. Super nice people, and it's just gorgeous here. Like I where I live, like you guys can't see the other side, but. This particular room that we're in was one of my favorite rooms because you look out and there's like just beauty. There's a monkey bridge. Sometimes monkeys come through. There's a pool and there's just beautiful gardens. You're just like, wow. I always hate that we have to turn the camera this way for the lighting <laughs> because they, actually the, the better backdrop is obviously this, but yeah. I, I don't have a huge lighting it's system. Okay. To, That's all right. But it's really pretty what we're looking at. <laughs> People always want to know, so I don't mean to be personal. So in a general way, what is approximate your cost of living here? And then, because I have a reason for saying that, it, it's because, I mean, you obviously have some perks. Right. Which play into it. So, what's, what generally is your cost of living per month? Oh my God. With this, I, I'm assuming you spend mostly on food. Yeah, it's probably mostly food. Yeah, me too. Because the person that I stay with, they kind of like help me out. So, I kind of don't have to pay because if I do extra stuff for him on the internet, like he'll be like, okay, you don't have to pay me this much this, this month or whatever. So what are your what, so and your so my bills you don't are, even pay, pay water do you I don't really pay it. <laughs> if you guys want to know how to do this write Bernita and ask her how she know no my point is down here everyone's like how can I make money or how can I do this thing by getting out here and meeting people and yeah you just gotta meet and talk to people and make your connections and all of a sudden people are like well can you help me with this can you help right. me with that and uh, can you manage my place can you help me with my website can you right. watch my kids can you watch my house when i'm gone for six yeah, months it's like you figure out how to survive and i've managed to do it for 12 years i think yeah if you, well if you want i think if you want to come stay here you can figure it out but people want they always want well, Michael, can I do this? Well, I don't know. Maybe you can. Come down here and figure it out. Yeah. 
I just always tell people just because whatever you're doing, whatever country you're from, doesn't mean it's going to translate here because it's just different. You, uh, it true. works differently here. So, you know, you can be some top marketing person in the U.S. and think you're going to come here and do that for somebody here and you might not be able to do that. So, again, I just like you have to be creative in how to, exactly. how to, how to live. I also get tired of people. I know things can be expensive here. I realize that. I know it's the expensive. It is. Well, it's not for me. I live cheaply. I got a little crappy Tico house that I pay like two eighty four now because of the dollar. By the right. way, oh, I know. Uh, and m- most of my stuff is food. I just bought a car. That's after eighteen years. <laughs> I mean, I keep my bills. I don't buy anything I don't use. Right. And if you and if I didn't use something in my house, and you said, "Michael, are you using that tripod anymore?" Take it. <laughs> I don't want it. You know. Right. So I. You know, but people, they want what they want and they want their exactly. car and their ATB and their pool and their right. work. If you I always tell people, if you want to live like a U.S. American, and have all the accoutrements that you always are used to. And guess what? If you're going to want that here, you're going to pay for it. I would say it's more could be more expensive here if you're going to do all that. Well, I feel like now it's just it's just as, as expensive as, as the U.S. And I always and I always tell people when they bitch about the price, I said when I was here as a nanny researching trying to figure out I know how much food was and everything. And it always said that Costa Rica was the number one sim- most expensive Central American country. And that was years ago. So now when people bitch about it, I'm like, it's been on the internet forever. But I'm like, you're on vacation. Spend your money. Go back home. But I still, but I still yes. I, but I still think it's funny that it's, it's a lot less expensive than their country. What are you even trying to say? So they'll go, it's, it's expensive. Well, not as expensive as yours. No. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's why right here, I mean, even I am in the, the Caja system, but even just to go to Wait, the which doctor. Is, sorry, real quick. Oh, sorry. Caja is the healthcare system here, socialized medicine. So. Yeah, sorry. So, but I don't use it because when it's socialized medicine, it does take you a little bit longer to get your appointment. And I did that once when I, actually, I had an issue with my knee and I had to go to the hospital. They treated me and everything that day. My next appointment to see the orthopedic, this happened in August. I wasn't seeing him until November. And I'm like, but my knee, I need to put my leg down. They're like, figure it out. But there's another um, system called MediSmart. Right. Are you, are you it, part of MediSmart? No, but I know about it because you of Johnny. You totally do it. Yeah. Because I got my hip surgery from that. Um, but if you just go That's to more the, like a, um, if you're in it, you get like, it, discounted, it's discounted, right? Discounted. Yeah. So like even, um, like if you go to the dentist, well, actually just normally just to go to a dentist to get your teeth clean here in San Antonio, 60 bucks. Just cleaning your teeth. Like, you can't pay 60 bucks in the United States to get your teeth cleaned. No, you can't. <laughs> well, Johnny actually, uh, Johnny, who's our medical dental guy, um, he got me into the, you know, I do pay into the Caja, but he, this is actually a hack that most people don't know. And I got a video about this coming out. But what you're supposed to do is once you get signed up, uh-huh. you need to make something up or do something to where I, I want to make an appointment for whatever. I, I, my heart sounds weird. Right. They take a bunch of tests. So you get into the system uh-huh. and now they have your records. Right. So they get all your records, all your stuff. So if something really was to happen, they the, an emergency, it, they don't have to start that whole thing over. Right. Thing. Right. So I'm supposed to have an appointment to do a whole checkup. <laughs> or some, Jesus. He goes, Mike, you're not getting any younger. <laughs> Whatever, dude. And the one time I, I had asthma when I was in the U.S., and once I got here, it kind of like disappeared. But then I was staying at somebody's house and I was dog sitting and all of her dogs were in the bed with me. And I woke up and I couldn't breathe. And I went to a doctor at like eight o'clock at night. It was a 24 hour center. And I literally was me and the doctor. That's it. Gave me three treatments and I got some drugs, $150. Wait, here? Yeah. Well, wow. And that was a while ago. But still, I was like, you know, in the U.S., Every person that comes to touch you, you have to pay for them. And I remember the one time in the U.S. and I'm like, I took off my oxygen. I'm like, I don't want any more people. <laughs> I'm not paying you. <laughs> you can't even walk in a place without paying to walk through the door, let exactly. alone the doctor. So that's why even I know sometimes for locals to pay $150 is a lot for them. But I'm like, you have no idea. In the U.S., it's thousands of dollars. And every person you talk to, you're responsible for paying that person. And that's why it pisses me off when they go, Costa Rica's expensive. Well, where, well, then why are you talking to me? Stay where you're at <laughs> and do what you do. Yeah. All right. So how's your Spanish? Well, Ooh. I do have a boyfriend that only speaks Spanish. 
So I have to speak Spanish to him. It's not perfect, but I can get by. Sometimes though, when it's something serious, like when I do go to a doctor, I'm like, I need to speak English because I want to make sure we understand each other. You don't want to miss that communication. (laughs) No, exactly. But I feel comfortable enough. Like I've been to Guatemala. I've been to um, Panama. They speak English. I've been to Colombia. So I feel comfortable going to other Latin American countries and using the Spanish that I know, but it's not perfect. And I know Tico's, they know automatically that it's not fluent. And they're like, you can speak English. And I'm like, no, I want to speak Spanish. I love when you go to a restaurant and you know, you're trying to work your Spanish. You're trying to say some stuff and they just go, do English. <laughs> I, I know what you're trying to say. They like, don't have time for it. <laughs> Quit. I mean, they appreciate it, they appreciate but they it. also kind of go, let's carry on with yeah. the English. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say Ticos are super nice about it because they, they can tell and they're patient with you. So what I always ask, I think I ask this a lot because I, Find it interesting. Do you understand Spanish better or speak it better? I think I understand it better. Normally, for me, you can speak. I'm picking out a couple of words and then I'll put it together, See, which I, is weird. Why is the understanding? I can't. <laughs> I hear just a lot of blah blah blah. Really? So when I I can say what I want to say, uh-huh. which creates the problem because <laughs> now I said what I want to say and, and they they're, they're going. Well, he kind of knows. Let me just. Oh, blah, blah, it's like, habla más despacio, por And they say, oh, está bien. And then, vente su cuentos más. And, blah, 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 like, <laughs> and I don't, and I always had a bad ears anyway. I'm not right. deaf, but I have a, I don't know, something wrong in my, I don't hear words correctly. Right. I'm the one that changes the song lyrics <laughs> to, to suit me. That's why I could have sworn okay. he said that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember when I, when I lived here for three months, and there was this old man that I always see on the bus, and he would always try to, speak to me and i'm like dude i don't speak but he didn't care he just kept talking to i me. find that very weird by the way I, mean, I thought it was funny but i would see him and then the one time we're sitting at the bus station and he said something about a, a woman that was fat he said it was gordita and i was like oh, are you calling her fat and i was like i understood what you said <laughs> you're talking about that fat woman <laughs> so whenever i see him i see him on the bus and everything he'll press the buzzer for me and he'll be like waving at me so i thought that was kind of cool that he didn't really care but see, that frustrates me because they'll, they know I don't get it uh-huh. and they just start rambling on. And there's, I just like, I do a lot of this mm-hmm. see? See? and they think I understand every freaking thing they said. And I don't. And, it, and I get, I get, I start sweating. I, I, get, I stress out with this stuff because they're talking. I go, I just told you my Spanish sucks <laughs> and you're went faster on me. Do you and tell them to slow down? I do. I do all of it. And they just, they go, I, like the, your guy said, I don't care if you understand <laughs> me. I'm going to talk Spanish. Well, I, this is a question because I've uh, experienced this. Now, you said your boyfriend doesn't speak English. Mm-mm. You've had to have some problems with um, where he thinks he understood what you said. Let's say you're not, not in a fight, but you're, it's kind of a more serious topic. Did he understand what he, so he thinks you said one thing, you said another, uh-huh. he's saying something you think you understand it, but maybe in this miscommunication can be like pretty bad. Well, sometimes he'll say to me, do you understand? And I'm like, oh, masa menos, more or less. Again, like I'm putting it together. And then sometimes I can tell him he just gets frustrated. He just like just stops talking. But we Yeah, but that's, to- that's serious communication though. If you go like, let's say you're trying to go, you know, you don't hug me enough, honey. You know, and, and I feel like I this thing. I don't know what to say. I know, I don't know, but it seems like how do you explain that, and and then in a way where he gets it the way you mean Wait to say it. Well, Google Translate is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good point. I take that question completely <laughs> back. Bug it. They actually, it is kind of good now. You can do it on conversation thing. I know, I know, but that one that that's weird. The, the, well, it doesn't work. I try it, and I, it's confusing to the everybody it's like who okay right who's talking (laughs) normally if i don't know like i'll look at it before i get to wherever i need to be and i'll just keep saying it in my head and then i'll get there and i'll just like say it or i act out everything charades (laughs) yeah i'm from philly bitch (laughs) small words (laughs) i think i wanted wanted those plastic shelves that pulled out but i i forgot to look it up before i got there so i'm like like this you go like this like this, she said the word. I was like, "Yes, that one." <laughs> That's what, what I need. It's not plastic card. What is plastic? 
Is it plastic card? I don't even know now. Your Spanish <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Does he even want to learn English? He always tells me that. He's like, okay, I want to speak English. I want to speak English. And then we start doing it. And then it's like, you don't really want to learn. <laughs> because you're not paying attention. So I will say certain things I will say to him in English and he knows. So I just had to tell you, this is a joke between us still. He'll never watch this video, so he doesn't care. So when we when I worked at the volunteer center, he was actually he worked there too. So that's how we met. And we just continued on after I quit. He stayed there. But the one day I asked him to do something and he didn't do it. So for some reason, I, I thought of shithead. So I was like, Cabeza de caca. <laughs> Damn. And I said that. And he was like, what did you say? I said, poopy head. <laughs> that was very Philly of you. I know, right? <laughs> so now that's his nickname. I call him poopy head. So he's in my phone. It's poopy. So I know. I don't know if he's going to like that. Well, he knows what it is. But I said, only a gringo would know what I'm saying that's to you funny. if I call you poopy. <laughs> so um, we were out once and I was like, poopy. He's like, shh. My name. <laughs> Call me by my real name. I'm like, okay, so whenever I introduce him to people, I have to make sure I say like his yeah. real name and not poopy. <laughs> That's funny. So where where do you um let, uh, let's move it along five years? So would you be comfortable just doing what you're doing, or do you have like you know what I want to change it up, or maybe you want to start your own thing, you want to do your own thing, or you have a different? I mean, or, or are you cool? I'm cool. Like I work for you. Then I did start my own travel. We're industry. partners. You don't work I work for, for you. You don't work for okay, me. You're probably more bossy than I am. No, I'm not. Don't, don't bring it up. <laughs> don't you even bring it up seven years ago. Do, don't, don't do it. You just brought it up. I didn't mean to. He wasn't the nicest person to me the last time I saw him. I know it's hard for you guys to believe. <laughs> he was a dick. <laughs> but I love him. Look, I, we're still together. Every now and yeah, then, okay. you say some stuff, and I'm like, I'm like, because I try to keep I, the Philly girl inside. She only comes out when she needs me to. Needs to. So, I think I've gotten better. I've been kind of mellowed in a, in a lot of ways. I'm well, pretty chill on the... Yeah. We, got, we have a pretty... The, you know, Anika, you, me, we kind of... Nothing really goes wrong with it anymore. No. no. And we have that crazy customer every now and then. Oh, and goodness. it's like, do what you want. I don't care what you tell them. <laughs> yeah, that's... I mean, for me to sit... I think it's funny. This happened. I think it happened with me and Anika. The guy wrote me and he was mad with Anika. I wrote him back and I go, Anika said you were a dick. And I've known Anika for 15 years. She would never do this. And you must be a dick. So don't write back. Go somewhere else. We don't want to. Bye. They don't, they, I don't know. They think for some reason, I'm going to get on TripAdvisor. Well, go get on TripAdvisor. Do you, boo? You know what I, mean? I don't care. Yeah, I'm like, you want to tell me? Go ahead. You got to admit I it is evidence. I always keep yes, my emails. Exactly. <laughs> but you got to admit it is kind of fun. We live in a country where I don't know. I bet you don't compromise too much. You do what you want to do. Yeah. You just say things you want to say. You do what you want to do, and you, there's not a bunch of people looking at you. Know you have to appease or oh, I can't say this or do that. And that's a, that's the one thing that I do have to say working for you because you kind of let us do our thing. Where I know any other job, like you can't say that because I know some people that work for other travel agencies. They have a script that they have. To oh, it's cut and paste. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I'm like, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> if you're yeah. gonna come here, I want to be real with you and tell you actually what's going on. I don't want to. Well, they it most do cut and paste because a lot of it's Ticos doing it, and their English is good, but they have to just go. Well, mm -hmm. it's cut and paste stuff. Basically, right. their packages are very. Yeah. Boom, 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 and. So I don't. So I have my own travel agency, but I kind of help other people more, more or less, do activities and transport. With you, I do like everything else, um, and that's little by little because it's still fresh. Just in this area or everywhere? I do everywhere. Oh, cool. Yeah, everywhere. So what you're saying is you're going to quit me soon? No, you said that. You got it. You, you better, said that to Anika. You better give me at least a two year. Two years. Yes, I got to Man, you just can't find people like that anymore. I'm not going to. You help me live. <laughs> you help me make money. I can't leave you because I have nothing. <laughs> so I need you, unfortunately. This is on tape. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. whatever. All right. Well, let's. Uh, this was this was fun. 
Bernita, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. You're we we got to talk more than just once every nine years. Well, that's on I, you. I, think, I guarantee people are going to go, I enjoyed that conversation. Okay. If you don't like that. it, I don't care. Yeah. If you love it, great. <laughs> Take over. You do you. I'll do me. I'll good. leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm Mike Lown, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Thank you, Bernita. Things are going to pop up. Thinking about living Bye. or traveling anywhere, especially Costa Rica. Always do your homework and research. And if it is Costa Rica, I'm going to say you should listen to us. I know my shit. <laughs> <laughs> this this video is not going to be monetized. Ciao. <laughs>